Hart and I both grew up in Phoenix, but we both grew up with very, very different backgrounds. My family was very much involved in the Reform Synagogue. I went to public school. We knew we were Jewish, and that was about it, and it was certainly good enough for us. My parents were involved with the establishment of the Phoenix Hebrew Academy. A Moroccan rabbi lived next door to us, and I remember vividly at uh, age four, uh, a knock on the door on a Saturday morning. And the rabbi would say, well, we need to go to shul. My father would say, but there is no shul. There's no synagogue in Phoenix. And he would say, but if two Jews are walking on the street wearing their kippahs on a Shabbos, other people will follow and soon enough we'll establish a shul. And certainly that's exactly what happened. When I started going to the Hebrew Academy, I saw an excitement about being Jewish. Coming from a public school on the outskirts of Phoenix where I was the only Jewish kid in the class, NCSY was there and it was the youth group and I just became very much involved in it. It answered inside of me everything that I needed. A commitment to my religion, it was a pathway. I didn't even know what NCSY was, I'd never heard of it. I was going to a public school at the time. A young rabbi decided he was gonna start an NCSY chapter. He said, Said, we need to go to California to Malibu Beach because there's a Shabbaton there. Amazed that my parents would let me go and was exposed to a tremendous number of kids. My age I got turned on from there. Our chapter was named Or Hamidbar, the light of the desert. It was an enormous part of our life. It was an awesome experience and we've put an effort into sending our kids to a community day school but they don't get the experience that other children would in large Jewish communities to sending our kids to essentially every convention, every Shabbat Torah, every conclave, every experience that they can. They enjoy it so much and feel such a part of it. I've grown up with it, it's always been a part of me. People ask me all the time, like, who are your role models? And I always say my parents, because they do so much for everyone. Because I'm in NCSY and so involved and I love it, I really wouldn't be the person that I am today without NCSY. It's my parents and NCSY. I'm an orthopedic oncologist. It's not a specialty that many people have heard about. I specialize in the treatment of patients that have cancers of the bone and the soft tissues, muscles, fat, nerves, and that treatment is surgical treatment, meaning the removal of significant parts of the body, whether it's the extremities, the spine, chest walls, for example, and it's reconstruction. We do, in addition to that, various forms of radiation, chemotherapy. These cancers are extraordinarily uncommon. They've created a very large practice, essentially encompasses Chicago down to Dallas, and most of the Midwest United States. We like the community, and we've stayed. I actually have two jobs. I have a real job. I'm a nurse practitioner. I work for probably one of the largest internal medicine practices here in Kansas City. I also first assist for Howard in the OR. I was never in the operating room with him until recently when I took this position. Watching him remove an enormous tumor from somebody's body is incredible. Awe-inspiring to see the gentleness and the the care that he gives to his patients. And when he was trying to get this very large tumor out of the thigh of a woman, and he actually started to talk to the tumor. Okay, it's time for you to leave now. The human body is an amazing organism. Treatment of sarcoma, the types of cancers that I treat, they affect the entire age range. A third of the patients are children, two thirds are adults. We're talking about all walks of life from every area of the country, every age, every religion, every gender. And what's amazing is the spirit that these people have against massive losses of body parts and their reconstruction. When you see some of Howard's patients, you take very few things for granted. Through the years, the friends that we have here in Kansas City truly became our family. We were in Camp NCSY with them. I remember the enthusiasm they brought. There was no professional youth director. It was Howie and Brenda, 13-year-olds who created a national chapter of the year, a chapter that all of NCSY was inspired by, and who went on, of course, to become the leaders of Kansas City Jewelry, molded in the image, the passion that Howie and Brenda first brought to NCSY so many decades ago. I was shocked that there were even Jews there, let alone one of the strongest chapters in the country. But when I went out to Kansas City and I spent Shabbos in the Rosenthal's home, I understood why Kansas City was so important to the NCSY map because you had committed and wonderful people like Howard and Brenda that were opening up their home and taking in dozens and dozens of teens every Shabbos. And the chesed and the kindness that they show, not just to the community, but to individuals who are in need. They are extraordinary people, and tonight it is a very, very great honor for us at the OU and Ben Zakai 
to pay tribute to them for all their wonderful work for their community and for Klal Yisrael. I was the non-religious kid that had no background whatsoever. Kids that I can remember growing up in their house on Shabbat and their family just incorporating me in their life. And I always said to them, you know, I can't repay you for your kindness. All I can do is do that for somebody else. Something else I learned from Brenda is she doesn't say no. I've taken that to heart that if you don't say no, you can make things happen. The continuity of the religion itself. NCSY is a perfect opportunity to start instilling leadership qualities in children. Giving thanks back to God for all the good things that have happened. I think NCSY has really made me what I am today, and I am very, very grateful. You have to be absolutely involved with your children, with your synagogue, with your school. You have to be involved.